Uh, well, good morning, Rob. How are we going? Um, uh, Jordan Dugowie, uh, the, the he's had a great four to six weeks in the midfield. Is it because he's become more familiar with the role, or is a bit fitter, or is he doing it more permanently, or a combo of all of the above? What? Uh, oh, probably a combo, really. Um, <clears throat> he's been, uh, he's obviously been hungry to play there for a while, and just through necessity, we've played him forward um, a lot over the last few years, and pinch hitting in the midfield. So we made, we probably made a more of a concerted decision to play him, play him consistently in the mid. Um, and he's just learning his craft, really. I, I, Pendlebury's helping him a lot. I know Adams is helping him a lot, Sidey, and so he's got some good heads helping him out. So he's just learning his craft as a midfielder um, as he goes on. Uh, and yeah, hopefully he keeps keeps bettering that. He's he's learning what it takes to um, to to be a lead at you know work rate and what running patterns and and stuff like that. So he's learning off some good ones there, and he's uh, he's getting better each week. And do you think that debate's been settled now in terms of where he plays? Oh, I think I think whatever the, like you get see one way the team needs him. I, I think yeah, at times he's still going to go forward uh, and do his thing, but I think. He's at that age and maturity now that he um, he knows where he wants to be and, and he's, he's really committed to working hard towards uh, getting that done. So um, I think largely midfields is going to be his position. Rob, how, uh, how pleased were you with last week and how important is it to back that up with a performance again this week? Well, I think it's important for the group because... Um, I thought, you know, we, we, we had some, showed some good signs last week. We'd been building towards being consistent as a team. Um, so we saw a bit more of that last week, um, but both sides of the footy. So um, I think it's important and getting that balance right between youth and experience is, is important in the team. Obviously, we got Howie back last week and Chris Main, so amongst a few others, which really helped sort of shore us up. So, yeah, I think it's really important. and. Um, it's obviously for everyone and the, the young guys to, to carry through um, and learn how to win is a really important thing as well. Just on your own situation, Harps, you've talked heavily about focusing on going forward for the, you know, the remainder of the season. Have you sat down with the club and, and tried to seek a, a meeting with them at some stage, an interview for, for the role going forward? Uh, not yet. No, nothing's changed for me, and uh, that was made clear to me with my job description at the start with Wrighty. So in the end, um, I'll sit down at the right time, whatever that is, and 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 go through whatever whatever that may be. In the end, um, I was given a clear charter, which I'm I'm trying to execute to the best I can, and um, and I'll carry that out to, to as a, at the best of my ability. So that 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 hasn't changed, and um, I'm at the right time. The communication's been good with me. Um, to, to, be able to, to be able to do the job that I have to do, um, you know, for the group. So, yeah, that won't change. Um, does McCreary play with the heavy back? Well, it's nice to get a few back. Uh, and he, he's available and trained strongly today. Um, Dacos trained strongly, so they're both in the squad. Um, yeah, which is nice to get a few back. Uh, and, and both experienced and young guys, so that's um, that's going to be really interesting for selection as we go into this afternoon. So as as we always do, we see how everyone pulls down after, pulls up after training and pick a team from there. So yeah, that, it's nice to have a few guys available, and um, yeah, we're, we're pretty clean from that point of view. So that's good. And uh, all of a sudden, a bit of a selection squeeze. Some someone's going to be unlucky. Maybe, maybe, and in the end, um, it's nice, nice to have some form to go to go off for, for, for last week, and um, as as we're aiming for, we're looking for consistency. So, but it's nice starting point, a to have a player availability, and b to have form to be able to pick off. So that's um, that's a good thing, and uh, hopefully we can continue that for the last few weeks and really build momentum there. And and how look to be pretty quickly back to his sort of old, old self, even you know first up after having missed so much footy. Yeah, well, the players. As I said last week, the players love having him in, and he's he's a real um, leader of the group, particularly the backs, but the, the team. Um, so he'd put in a lot of work beforehand, as we said last week. So he's more than ready to go, and, and I think how he played shows that he's he um, he slipped straight back into his role really well. So yeah, I think um, it's good to, as I said, good to have him back, and good to have him you know building towards being confident for next year, and that's that's um, ticked off so far. So yeah, really good to have him back. There were obviously a lot of... Uh, sorry, you go, Rob. No, you go, you're up. No, I was just going to say, there was obviously a lot of tributes during the week for, 
for Chris Mayne. What, what, what have you seen from Chris Mayne um, in your time half since he's been at the club and what he's meant to the actual group? Well, I've seen it evolve um, for over a, a, like a long period now. And I, having, having been midfield coach for a long time, I, work, I got to know him really well. And um, I, just, I just feel so strongly for what he's con contributed to the club and the group. Um, you know, to be honest, he, he's, he, he's done it purely off his own bat. Like, and even when others didn't believe, he did. And he's a great message for all our group um, with mental resilience, mental toughness, to be able to get it, to, to be able to get it done, own, own your own career and drive your own career. And I, I have the utmost respect for that guy and what he's done. And, um, he goes into the next phase for him, um, absolutely putting his head on the pillow, knowing that he put everything into his um, into his sport and his club and his team and his teammates. So, um, from that point of view, uh, I don't I don't see a guy who should go out more proud than that that fella. And um, I think the players appreciate and respect that. And the, co the confident ball use that the team showed last week is this just been building and, and building over, over the weeks and that was the sort of the, the, the combination of it? Oh, I think we've shown glimpses of moving the ball better. I think last week was a real combination. I thought we pressured really well on our, our defensive side of the ball was a lot better last week. So yeah, I think you know you can focus on one thing but in the end it was, a, it was all round. It was both sides of the ball and um, we've always said defence creates good offence and, and that was the case last week. Um, we just we are, we are, we, we, with all the good work and, and hard work that we do off the ball, we just want to be able to reward ourselves with it. And that, and that was better last week um, and doesn't mean it. It's, it's automatically given it continues. We've just got to keep working on that side of it and, and making sure that we get our rewards when, when we get the opportunities.